Hi, 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 guys, what's up? It's Bernie here and um, talking to you from sunny San Diego. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Let's Encrypt to get your SSL certificates on your Ansel. And uh, I'm also going to give you a quick introduction on our instant SSL technology, which is really cool stuff. All right, so what you see here is um, my Ant-Man um, dashboard. And uh, in the last video, I showed you how to install Redmine. So Redmine is our issue management system. And uh, we've already installed it in an Antlet. It's running on the internal IP address 10.1.1.14. And as you see, it's already running. So I showed you how to access it um, last time using HTTP. Um, but also, you want to access everything HTTPS and you don't want to have a lot of hassle with it and you don't want to pay for SSL certificates and everything. So that's why we're using Let's Encrypt under the hood. So Let's Encrypt is um, a very cool project that lets you create your own SSL certs without having to pay for them. All right, so that is cool stuff. And um, we've integrated it into our Ansel private cloud solution. So we have our Anthill here. You see that anthill.ansel.com. It's kind of our, you know, customer management system. So if you have anything with Ansel, you might have several servers um, purchased from us, or you might have your own third party servers that are just running our software you can see them all in anthill um, they they all appear here with um, the serial number you see in this account here um, it's my account bernie.bloom at ansel.com i have two servers silk and daffodil um, and um, i set up instant ssl for them you see that here silk.ansel.us daffodil.ansel.us and with instant SSL, I can just, as you see it here, access Antman under HTTPS, and it's all recognized by the browser. It's not a self-signed certificate. It's all um, publicly available, but with the Ansel.us subdomains, they are only for your local LAN. So if you want to publish one of your antlets, to the world and then want to have that using SSL. That's what this video is about. So stay here and watch it to the end. Also smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Um, that helps us a lot. Thanks in advance. So um, you saw how easy it is in Antil. It's already set up here, but basically if you don't have it yet, <clears throat> there would just be a link here that says get one. And then you have a small dialogue. You can pick your name and create that instant SSL subdomain of Ansel.us. And with that, you can access Antman securely. But what you can also do, and that is really cool, you can access each of your antlets using that one instant SSL. You can access all your antlets using SSL. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you with a Redmine antlet. So if we open a new tab here and we just type HTTPS and then Redmine, which is the name of the antlet, .silk.ansel.us, then automatically um, we are on HTTPS. So you see the lock symbol in the browser. And we have our Redmine system here that I showed you in the last video. So um, that is awesome. So now the redmine.silk.ansel.us, it only points to your internal LAN address. So that is for testing purposes if you want to test it within your LAN and don't want to publish it to the world. But now what if you want to publish it to the world? You can run Let's Encrypt yourself to, um, to get that done. So I already have a domain name that, that I haven't been using in a while. It's named bigbloomer.com. So um, I'm going to use that. Um, and, and I've already you know changed the A record of that domain name to my Ansel. 
to the public IP. You see my public IP here. And um, you can go to your domain name, registrar. You can get your domain name from you know any registrar. Um, it could be GoDaddy. It could be Namecheap. I personally like Namecheap a lot and, and, and recommend them. Not affiliated with them, by the way. Um, <clears throat> but you can also get it from Google or from, from Google domains or from anywhere. All right, so we got our domain name, um, a big bloomer. So now I'm already logged in to, to my Ansel here, to Silk. So now I'm logging into um, the antlet that runs Redmine, the 101114. So um, log, logged in here now. That one is running Debian, so I can just say cat etc Debian version and I get 10.4 so I'm on Debian 10.4 here um, so what I want to do now is just apt-get install a tool called certbot so certbot is the tool by let's encrypt that creates us those certificates that we need to run HTTPS All right, so here we're back and we have Sartbot installed as I showed you. Now we run this command, Sartbot, um, Sartbot, and then we say Cert only because we only want to have the certificate. We say dash dash manual. Um, that's also required, otherwise Sartbot does some automation that we don't want at this time. And then we say prefer challenges DNS. So that challenge is going to be the method under which Sartbot verifies that we own the domain name. So that's the whole purpose of HTTPS, right? It, it, they want to certify that we own the domain, so we need to prove to Sartbot that we actually do own the domain, and we do that through a DNS challenge. And then this one, register unsafely without email, that is just for me in that demo because I don't want to register it with an email address. If you do it in real life, don't do this option. Um, just leave it out. So then server is running. It's, the, it's then just asking us for a domain name. So I entered my domain name, bigbloomer.com, and um, then it ran through. And then it, it's asking us to add a DNS TXT record um, under this name. So I'm hopping over to my um, domain registrar. In my case, it's Namecheap. As I said, I like Namecheap. Can actually really recommend them even though I'm not affiliated with them. Um, so I went to the advanced DNS. You see here my A record, which points to my public IP. And now I need to add a new record, and that needs to be a TXT record. And um, I'm just adding that value here that Sartbot is asking me to put in there. So I'm putting that in here. And then under the name, so that is this here, um, I'll just copy this and put it in here as the host. So that should be it. Putting that in here as the TXT record. We've deployed that, so we just hit enter to continue. Waiting for verification. Cleaning up challenges, important notes. Awesome. So it went through and we have our, it says congratulations, alrighty. And we have our certificates here under ETC Let's Encrypt Live, bigbloomer.com. And we have two files in that directory. One is the fullchain.pem and one is the privkey.pem. Awesome. So we have these now. So now I hit Control D to log out of the antlet and I'm back to the Ansel, which is named Silk in my, in my case. Now I need to go to etc nginx virtual hosts. So that's where all my um, virtual host definitions are, right? And I've already prepared a file named ssl.redmine.conf. And um, 
you you know the the link to the code is in the description down in the video so um, check out the description you'll find the code there so as you see here um, we just define the server we say it's listening on port 443 which is the port for for SSL but here um, it's not giving us the the correct um, address right so what it actually is it's in the antlet right so it would be ant antlets uh, redmine and then it's under etc let's encrypt live and then big bloomer.com and then we had full chain dot pem all right and then um, we can use that same um, that same thing here and just paste it in here but it's not full chain in this case it is priv key all right Ooh. so um, we have the certificate and the key for the certificate here now um, we can take these two lines and just insert them down here because we need them here as well and um, and that is actually all so we've created a virtual host file we now have a virtual host for bigbloomer.com all right so after um changing the nginx virtual host i'll just say service <clears throat> nginx reload to just reload our um configuration so and now everything's done it was that easy so as you see i have my redmine here using https secure connection with redmine.silk.ansel.us so that was the instant SSL um, that only works locally from within the LAN but now we want to publish it we use the domain um, big bloomer so all I have to do is HTTPS and then big bloomer .com, and boom <laughs> I can access my my red mine through that again and that is public now that's how easy it is to use to use nginx you just run it in an antlet you create your virtual server in nginx and uh, and then boom you're up and running i think that's worth a like so give us the like button for the youtube algorithm subscribe to your channel to see more videos like this and um, all the best see you guys soon bye